Hello there, friends, and welcome back to Catherine. We are anyway, at the bar. Catherine isn't cheating on you. Yeah, we're trying to Why figure out if Catherine's cheating on us now. I believe in her. Here's what's actually happening. I believe in her. I don't know. I believe her, but you're ignoring your own sins in the first place. But, but. And why don't you break up? Huh. Well, if you're cheating and you think she's cheating, that's the logical choice. I'll talk with her about it. Though. Dude, I'll just sit there just getting get angry. A, a, I'm not. We got a call from an angry Sorry. dude. Sorry. Be like, I'm, hey. I'm just tired. My head hurts. Maybe I've been playing too much Rapunzel. Hey, I got the I top score on that right now. Once I figured out the trick, I got pretty far. You guys really like that game. You don't get why it's so fun, eh, Toby boy? Hey, that's mean. After I got the hang of it, it's just so addictive. Now you're the kind of guy who won't give up till you beat it, huh? Well, isn't everyone like that? Yeah. You took life one step at a time until you started dating Catherine, didn't you? Uh, shut up already. Yesterday, I told my mom about Erica. Huh? Wait, so what? Yeah, I found the one. Oh, you don't say. <laughs> well, uh, don't go overboard. Sure thing. He's so happy. Erica. Sorry, I need to make a whiz. Hey, how's Toby doing at work? He's fine. I can trust him to customize a bike without watching over him. You should spend more time tinkering with chicks, not bikes. He needs to hook up with somebody good for him. Someone besides Erica. You're so good with the little guy. How about sharing some of that love with us? Yeah, right. the big talk now, but Erica had a lot of problems back in the day. Remember that time she was hurt by a relationship and disappeared? Huh? huh? What happened? <laughs> I remember that. And people were saying she was dead, but then she just popped up out of nowhere. I never knew Erica had some trauma like that in her past. But I'll fill every hole in her heart. And I'll fill every hole in her heart. Hey, I'm serious here. Don't make fun of me. Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? Do you right. see yourself as a dog? Do you see yourself as a cat? I love cats. I love cats. <laughs> this one? Do you know about ants? Ants? Like the bug? I hear they're messengers of witches. They can go to the okay. mouths of the men who wasted away to death. What? I thought that was just a rumor. Mr. Todd has died. The time of freedom. God, these women are so weird. You got mail. <laughs> That'll make you feel better. Well, is it working? I'm sorry for sending that last one while you were at work. I hope I didn't make you feel better. Shit! Don't look at this in public. I need to check this out somewhere where no one can see. Todd don't get along well, but it was Mr. Todd who stopped Mr. Morgan from committing suicide. He was arrested for assaulting Mr. Morgan. He was demoted as a result, but what the two of them don't know. The two of them don't know that Mr. Daniel had him cleared of the charges. You got mail. Okay. <laughs> Is it 
true that you have a tummy ache? You're not lying to me or hiding anything from me, are you? Uh. like that. Did something happen? Uh, I don't know. You want me to ask? No, never mind. Probably just me. No, Johnny is upset. I'm... I don't know what the hell's going on in this game. I'm tired. Wake up, Vince. This is all the free time you get. Oh, I should have talked to that guy. He's leaving now. Hold up! Wait, 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 wait! Can I talk to you before before you actually leave? No, he left! Shit! I want to talk to him. Damn it. <sighs> Something happened. I hope I'm imagining things. So yeah, I'm meeting with a friend tomorrow, so if you want to call me, do it in the afternoon. Are you busy with work, too? Try to take it easy. Hmm. Ugh! Just say, does it matter to both of them? Nah. I'll just do that. I'm talk to that dude. I don't want him to die. Oh, hey, guy, you're not looking so good. I probably just killed him because he wasn't doing very well with the sheep. Either. So, it's probably gonna end up on the news. And now, continuing our coverage of the mysterious week. Richard Davis, age 30, has been found dead today. 30? Wow. It's even your. <sighs> Todd Moser, age 45. Todd? <sighs> Todd? The Todd that came here? I knew I hadn't seen him these days. That's all the updates we have on this story currently. After a commercial break, we'll bring you the weather. As always, if we have anything new to report. I forget who Todd is. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, no. I want to keep sitting there. Can I tell you the rest of yesterday's story? Yes, oh, sure. please. You're up for it. I think I was at the part where the ballerina suddenly had many enemies. She started to be harassed. Eventually, her entire family was killed. What? She took her own life after that. It's the truth. Oh, shit! I did not mean to say that. Yeah. I can't bring her back. I didn't look at the other Have I options. told you about that legend? That if you survive, you'll be granted any one wish. It's just a rumor, right? It might be a ridiculous fairy tale, but right now, I feel like I've got to believe in something if I'm going to go on. If I'd never written that article, she'd still be alive. I know what my wish would be. I'd change the past, save her. But that's why I'm hung up on this stupid legend. Go ahead and laugh if you like. It's not funny. Alright. Oh, okay, so the police officer came in. Let's talk to him. Are you drinking? Hey. I... Oh, Did you know that's Todd? who they say, Mr. Morgan. He was a regular here. Yeah, the, the department manager, right? Did you know that he died? In the same mysterious, shriveled up way that all those other men have died. Died? This morning? He had a potty mouth. He was a playboy. But he was good at looking after people. He was a fine man. Is it the guy yeah. with the pompadour? Do you believe in the afterlife? Yeah. If there is an afterlife, that means that death isn't the end of everything. But I want there to be an end. I'm only living now because I have something I need to do. What's that? To find the criminal who shot my wife. And kill him with my own hands. My wife is dead, so he'll die. And then I'll die. That's when everything will finally disappear. Are you thinking of dying? Well, I'm certainly not good at living. Sorry, 
but I'm going home. I just came for a little drink before bed. Is beer or water? Not even getting a buzz. Hey. What was that? Why'd you moan like that, breath? What do you want? Daniel, don't be like that. They're awful kind to Vincent. Why don't you hook up with him? I can't be with you, right? So everyone wins. Yeah, it's no use oh. being with a man who will just become somebody else's. Uh, hey, hey, guys. Hey. If you're gonna get hurt, then why did you bring this up? Do you have any idea how I feel when I buy my clothes? I have to save everything I make just to buy handbags and clothes that won't embarrass you when we're seen together. I studied economics and etiquette every day just so I wouldn't embarrass you at an important dinner. But it's all pointless, because no matter how much I better myself, it'll never be good enough for some people. Anna. It was inevitable that we'd break up from the beginning. <sighs> I'm sorry I never let you give me any presents. I had to do something to keep my dignity. <laughs> um, is that what you really want? Uh, this isn't about what we want or don't want. Excuse what is going on with you two? You got me. Jesus. You guys are a mess. or say something hard to miss, right? Vincent's values are always being tested. His state of mind can change the outcome of the plot. The inner monologue he hears when in a pitch will be affected to pay attention to what he's saying. All right, well then, if I want to hear what he's saying, let's get a drink. <sighs> Catherine he mentioned wasn't her? What's going on here? Should we be cheating on me? Can't honestly say there's no possibility. I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia for you, as you <laughs> seem to have finished your glass. Okay. It's said that chugging alcohol isn't good for you, but sometimes it's necessary. Okay. The cocktail Nikolashka is an example of this. It uses cognac, lemon, coffee, and sugar. First, you put the lemon, coffee, and sugar in your mouth. Then you take a big swig of cognac. Of course, you can't even talk until you drink it all. It's necessary to chug it. But cognac contains 40% alcohol, so those with low tolerances Ooh. should not attempt this. And that was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Dang, dude. Empty? What would you like now? Here. Coming right up. Good old beer. I love beer. <laughs> Ooh, oh, I'm covering up my own empty dog. I don't have the right to suspect her. My alcohol tolerance is so high that I can't afford to get drunk anymore. Dang, dude. That's I'm gonna head home. Excuse me. to choosing a partner, the way men see things can't compare to the way women view it. I hear they even distinguish by smell, too. I wonder. I thought I was a sweet-scented middle-aged man, but Eric just said I have old man smell. Like I care. Yeah, anyway, as I was going to say, the hunter in relationships is actually the female. Female moose have males fight each other to win her courtship. When I saw that documentary last night, I was on the edge of tears for the poor husband. Maybe you can't be too careless for too long. Uh, uh, it's late. Anyway, I have to set things straight tomorrow. Hey, Vincent, we're going home now. All right, I'll see you later. Johnny and Orlando have all made women cry. Well, maybe I have. Maybe Orlando too, but not Johnny. Not true. He said he told his girlfriend that he has no intention of marrying her. How can a man tell a woman that? It's like saying, I don't love you. If that happened to me, I'd disappear all over again. Oh, 
I remember that. You just up and vanished. Stop saying I vanished. I was crashing at a friend's place. <laughs> I remember that you guys were all worried sick. Of course we were. We honestly thought you were dead. To be young and thoughtless can be forgiven. But if you're an adult... Stop tormenting yourself all over again. So you guys really need to learn how a girl's heart works. A girl is always hoping someone will come and sweep them away. I'd be more convinced if a woman was telling me this. Ahem, sounds like somebody wants to pay their tab right now. <laughs> and now, oh. continuing our... Nope, written I not. <sighs> That's all the... After commercial... As always, if we have any... Women are hunting every day for better prey. If you take too long, you might be exchanged for the prey next to you, you know? Alright, I'm gonna go home. Good night, guys. You're going home? Be really careful, okay? I know. Don't you think that everyone's acting... I don't know, strange lately? Not just you. Oh, yeah, no. I'm getting worried. Are you worried about those rumors? I mean, you shouldn't get yourself so worked up about that stuff. I don't believe in any of that. We'll see ya. It's so interesting, because Vincent's so not interested in any of that when he's awake, but when he's asleep, he's like everyone's hero. <laughs> Okay, so I did drink, so now he's drinking before he goes to bed. So that must have, like, some kind of effect on that. You know Catherine, right? Maybe it's some other Catherine So this, this now. just must be, like, one of the things that changes the plot a little surprised. bit. So I wonder if I'll wake up with Catherine for work. next to me. I don't know. I don't know how that works. But it was saying that my choices affect the plot. So I don't know, dude. Alright, night six. You're here. The clock tower is tonight's location. This clock has been in use since ancient times. Tested by various puzzles. Bomb blocks are lit when you walk over them and blocks. will damage nearby blocks. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's not good. Where am wow. I this time? There's still more? Okay, this is all we have a checkpoint. Oh! 
Oh, I see.
you up ahead. I'll Great. Get okay, you. he doesn't actually kill me. Great. Oh. He's doing good. Judge our lives, right? That's what I've been told. These questions sure are strange. I feel like I should be picking the right answer, not what I'm honestly feeling. Huh. How have you been answered? I feel like I've been answering pretty honestly. I know what that was lying, so I'm just going with how I really feel. What? Seriously? He asked me if men who want to cheat on their spouses are pathetic or praiseworthy. And since I think that men who bind themselves to one woman forever are boring and have no lives, I thought praiseworthy would be the right answer. I wish they were questions with definite answers, like, when's your birthday? <laughs> Could it be? I don't think I'm gonna buy anything. I wonder. I usually don't buy anything. Could it be? That voice! It was my wife! You traitor! I'll kill you! That's what she said! I cheated on her, so she cursed me. Seriously? And I climb and climb, but I keep seeing Anna's face, huh. constantly hurting the one person that I love. Why am I alive? Why was I even born? Hey, are you alright? True freedom. It's the only chance I have left. So he really does True care about Anna. True freedom. It's the only know chance. Do. About his own life, he thought that the answer to his Damn life it. was to just be better. There are less of us now. I won't lose. I'll climb for them too. Hi guys. Mm -hmm. I see you're safe. Let's talk about our techniques. We've all got to keep climbing. Let's work together and get out alive. This technique just hit me. Allow me to explain timber. If you want to drop an entire wall, leave a supporting block and push out all the rest. Then, push the supporting block and the wall will all fall down in one. Don't you think it's useful? I just had an idea. What do you think of this? Allow me to explain controlled explosion. Huh, yeah. Makes sense. Bomb blocks are hazards that turn blocks around them into cracked blocks. But dark blocks can never become cracked, so use this property. That's just inspired. What a great idea. Oh man, I wish I'd thought of that. Not bad. Do 
you want to review the techniques? No. I gotta go. Good luck to you guys. <sighs> that chubby guy isn't here. Did he fall yesterday? I don't know. I felt like if we kept gathering together, talking, we'd all make it out of here. But I guess it's not that easy. Mm -hmm. I wonder. All right, friends, let's go confess. Oh, man. This is the clock tower, the sixth floor. You're really good. You've been going at a pace of one floor per night so far. Come on, hurry up and ask your question. I want to get this over with tonight. This is the eighth question. Do you think it's okay to lie if there's absolutely no chance that they'll find out? <laughs> no. I didn't see your answer. I see. Do you remember what I told you before? That there is someone who put you here? Can't be. I think the only way, like, Whatever the only place reason is, the line isn't is, like, it a dream? That's why even the smallest of fears and doubts you become magnified like, uh, here. Uh, <laughs> Remember that. If it's something that benefits the person. Okay, so we got three floors. So we got... Dang. Or no, we there got... There are two types of bomb blocks with four? different blast radii. Dang. How brightly they glow will help you figure out which is which. Oh, shit. Oh, no. That's not good. <laughs> not gonna die. Commence the area two. Are you uh. ready? Oh my 
my god, I always forget that I can pull these goddamn blocks. Alright, I got it. Oh, I 
say that you find that romantic spark when you encounter someone who compensates for your own flaws. By doing so, you can find an idealized version of a personality completely opposite to yours through a romantic relationship. In a nutshell, you're trying to get rid of the self you hate through romance. Hmm. That actually makes some sense. I do feel like I'm a better person when I'm with Anna. I'm not empty anymore. I'm not the me who can't do anything. So maybe that's why we fall in love. 
to accept who we are and live our lives. That makes romance seem awfully trivial. Anna. Uh, ew. Things are getting tough around here. You can't always rise to every situation. But you can only fall to the level of your training. Like what? Try this one on for size. Allow me to explain. Bombs away. Quickly move it away from the area. Got it. If you push the bomb block off an edge before it explodes, the blocks around you will not be damaged. Okay. Did that seem useful to you? That should help. Have you seen this one? Allow me to explain spring. When you get on a spring block, you can jump upwards five blocks. Five blocks, okay. You can move spring blocks, so use this knowledge to... Nice! You're brilliant. All right, what's next? That sounds pretty useful. I expect nothing less of you. Cool. Mm. Man, actually, I think I might know you. Never mind. <laughs> Hello? Do you want some yummy juice? <laughs> hey, uh... Take one sheep and two blocks and crush him! Sheep juice! Use some wool as flavoring! Wool! <laughs> I think he's up for talking. I don't want to be turned into juice. Man, I right, heard you. all over. Hey, look! There's light shining through the windows. Yeah. Can you see what it looks like outside? Wow. All right! Anna. Uh, man, I heard all over. What do you got tonight? You want an item? Pony up. Tonight's product is... The energy drink allows you to climb two blocks at once. The mystic pillow gives you an extra retry. Nah, I don't need it. Huh? Even though I have I so many coins. Uh, <clears throat> Confession time. Over. Oh, man. Hmm. Seems you're getting used to the machine-based traps as well. Hey, what's up with those sheep that attacked me? Ah, yes. There are many sheep like that now. They've lost their sanity. If you lose your mind, all you have left to lose is your life. Hmm. They don't exist in the real world anymore. Are you serious? This is the ninth question. Oh, okay. What do you do when you receive a phone call from someone you don't like? <laughs> someone I don't like? Um, I'll usually send it to this mail, <laughs> if I'm being honest. So that's your choice. Huh. Interesting. Oh, yes. You're in the middle of the clock tower stage. From the next section on, your trials will get oh my longer gosh. and longer. They're already long, dude. But you're running out of time. Then hurry the hell up. I'll get out of here before the night is over. Very well. I'll take you to the next level. All right. Other people. It's a race against time on this long staircase. Use the items to your advantage and reach the door before you lose your footing. Just let me climb this tower like normal, damn it! Commencing area three. Are you ready?
first little little itty bit part of this. This, with this beginning. Your significant other was cheating on you. <laughs> Wh which one? Like that. Hmm. So that's the one you chose. Let me use this. I'll take this. Oh my God. Fuck 
Yeah. Just a little more. Oh, I can't really get that. Friends are starting to end up in here. As long as Toby doesn't end up in here, then <sighs> then, then I'll I'll be fine. Toby's a good boy. He doesn't he doesn't need to be here. All right, friends. Good God. Oh, I'm gonna save, save, and then we're gonna go and defeat the boss of level six in the next part. Jeez. If you like this video, go ahead, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and become a friend. If you're not already in the